So you're thinking about moving to Renton? Or Issaquah? Well, in this video, we're gonna do a pros and cons or kind of a compare and contrast video between Renton and Issaquah, what it's actually like to live in each of them and kind of how they differ, help you make a decision if you're looking at the two options, which one's the best fit for you. So stick around, we're gonna get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you wanna know all there is to know about living in King County, Washington or places like Renton and Issaquah like we're talking about today, hit the subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications. That way you can be the first to be notified of a new video on Renton, Issaquah or one of our other favorite cities here in King County. I'm Brad Decatur, this is Derek Decatur, we're the Decatur Home Team. We get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you every day who are looking to make their move to King County. So whether you're one day or one year away, we'd love to help you out. All the contact info is below. So check that out and we'll get right into it. So Renton versus Issaquah. So these these uh, places, these cities do border each other. They actually share a school district in one portion of Renton. Um, so they're pretty similar, but also very, very different to actually live in. So we just like to usually kick it off to Derek for what's the initial <laughs> thought. Uh, well, I mean, the initial thought is is the differences in size, right? Um, Renton seems to be <clears throat> a much larger area, and you have a vastly different different options, kind of based on where you're at in in Renton. But overall, you know, I mean, we're maybe a little bit biased, but we both we we grew up in Renton, we moved to Issaquah, so I think they're both phenomenal areas. You have very similar access in and out um, in terms of getting into the into the city. I think things are going to be a little bit more affordable in in, in Renton, but we're going to yep. get into all that right now. Yeah, I think the main difference is you know schools and then pricing schools. and stuff like that. So we'll go through each kind of category. We like to do like location things to do. Uh, cost of living or pricing, uh, that kind of stuff. Then we'll kind of wrap it all up. So as far as location goes, you know, they are touching. They're pretty close together. I mean, they're both Issaquah's uh, straight shot I-90 to Bellevue. Mm -hmm. Renton is also a straight shot from 405. Yep. So they're kind of like, yeah, I mean, I would say it's pretty Kind of wedged between 90 and 405 there in that corner. Yep. It, so. it actually depends on which portion of Issaquah or Renton you're at yep. and where you're going. If you're going to Seattle for work or Bellevue for work, I would say either one could be faster depending on which spot. So I would give it a, sure. a tie basically. A push. Yeah. I mean, unless you're really having to go down 900 for instance, but I mean, other than that, if you're yeah. just jumping the freeways, you're, it's, it's really does depend on location into Bellevue or Seattle that you're going yep. to. So. I will say if you're doing like the morning commute, I would say 405 going to be probably worse than I-90. So if you're like True. heading from downtown Issaquah to Bellevue, to get to work, that'll probably be smoother than if you were heading from Renton to Bellevue. Both are very close. Agreed. But 405, man. Going You've got more terrible. people coming from south, the yeah. south for 405 versus coming from the east from from yep. 90. Yep. Right. Exactly. Yep. Uh, how about things to do? What do you, what goes to your head oh, for? Man. Things to do, nature, also just activities or sure restaurants, uh, shopping, yeah. that kind of stuff. Well, I mean, I, I you know, activity wise, outdoors, I. In Issaquah, you think of Lake Sammamish. Um, you yeah. think of the hiking. You yeah. think of the biking. You think of the mountain biking. You think of all those trails that you can go on. Um, you think about closer proximity to maybe the mountains. Yep. Uh, in Renton, you, you know you're you're you still have some of those aspects for sure. You've got Lake Washington that's right there as well. So you do have that lake. You've got the landing, which has tons. Of, I mean, when I think of Renton now, I kind of think of the landing to some extent. Yeah. But you've got probably more access to the. I don't want to call it the nightlife because it's not, but more of the restaurants, um, m more of that activity than yeah. when I think in Renton, mm. than, than when I think of Issaquah, um, sure. even though you do have some of those things in, in Issaquah as well. But um, activity wise, yeah, I, I, I lean more towards more to do in the, on the Issaquah side than I, than I do on the Renton side. Yeah, I, I think for nature, for sure, Issaquah yeah. is yeah. tough to beat for the nature stuff. They got like, dip, there's mountains within uh, Issaquah Poop yep. Point. Lots of different mountains, the high point area. Yeah, the, the lake. But yeah, Renton is huge. So Renton has an actual downtown yeah. downtown with like kind of your older shops and stuff. Uh, Issaquah has technically Front Street, which is the same idea, but much, much smaller. Um, they're both going to have everything you need as far as like shopping goes. Um, the Landing has all your big stores, Target and stuff, but it, uh, Issaquah has um, Costco. Gilman. Yeah, Costco. <laughs> all, yeah. all the big stores. A little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, pretty much a wash. I would say that Issaquah is better though because it has the yeah. better nature things to do. Renton might have a little bit more like actual buildings, things to do, like a museum More industrial stuff in yeah. Renton as well. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would... I, 
biasly would give it to Issaquah for sure, just because there's more, yeah. uh, more like uh, nature. I don't know if nature is the right word, but more out things to do outside for sure. Yeah. Uh, although cool thing to do at Renton now is the uh, Top Golf. It's pretty sweet. True. No Top Golf. So that Issaquah. is a big, that is a big plus for Renton. That's a big win. Uh, okay, so next up we got uh, pricing. Let's mm -hmm. go cost of living, mm -hmm. housing pricing, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, well, again, I mean, Renton's so wide, uh, so big that I mean, pricing is is going to be vastly different. But overall, when you look at averages, the price point's going to be quite a bit higher in Issaquah. Definitely, you know, definitely more expensive in Issaquah. Yeah, yeah, it does depend where. Um, you know, Renton's really large, so I think of Renton as four different parts. If you haven't looked at my other Renton videos, check those out where I really dive in. I used to live. Well, we technically were born yeah. in Renton. Uh, we I moved to Issaquah when I was five, so mostly consider myself Issaquah native, but. Um, I also bought a house in Fairwood area. So there's Fairwood, there's downtown, then there's kind of the highlands and the outskirts. So Renton's pretty huge. Um, and they're all going to be very different. Like living mm -hmm. downtown, they're pretty cheap houses. That's mm -hmm. not as good of an area to live in. So you're talking about sure. like, you know, starter houses in the 500s. Mm -hmm. Um, but then the Issaquah Highlands with an Issaquah school district kind of bordering, bordering uh, by Liberty. Yep. That one's going to be more expensive, but yeah, Issaquah definitely more expensive looking at like your million dollar average price point, whereas Renton's more like the 700 and mm -hmm. something. Yeah, but it, does, it really does, it really depends on where you are are going at in Renton. I mean, if, yep. you're, if you're going towards the Issaquah border, I think you're gonna see a, a an increase in prices. Um, similarly, like in most cities in King County too, as you go farther away from Seattle, if you go farther south in Renton, yep. prices are gonna come down that sure. direction as well. Yep, true. So, but still a pretty big difference, I would say, between like the, yeah. the Issaquah School District side of Renton. Um, For sure. Compared to like downtown Renton or Issaquah is gonna be more expensive. Yep. So next up, we got school districts. We've got mm -hmm. Renton School District and Issaquah School District. Like I said, there's a sliver of Renton that isn't also Issaquah School District, but what's your take on schools? Yeah, don't have these stats right in front of me, but Issaquah School District, district is going to win out. Yep. Uh, it's a very, very sought after school district. Um, which is also why you see those housing prices go up uh, along that border where in Renton you are going to the Issaquah School District too. So yep. um, I don't know where Renton falls. Uh, it's not, it's, it's, I know it's improved from, from even when we were growing up, um, but I don't know what the, the number is yeah. right now, but it's, Issaquah is going to win for yeah, sure. Definitely outside the top yep. 10, Renton School District's outside the top 10. Um, and Issaquah is usually in that three or four range mm -hmm. for like the rankings uh, in King County. Sure. So it's a pretty good school district, really good school district. Um, so I would say that's the main difference is why, and that's why the pricing is different as well. So schools are, are definitely better in Issaquah than in Renton. Um, but again, there is that area. Uh, if we put a map up here, it's like the east side of it that kind of butts up to Issaquah. That's Issaquah School District. So if you're in the Renton address, but Issaquah School District, that means you're around the Liberty area. Um, so that would be like the Liberty High School, mm -hmm. which is still a great school in Issaquah mm -hmm. School District. So you mm -hmm. can kind of get the best of both worlds there with better pricing, That's, sure. which is actually where my in-laws sure. lived. I lived there once too. But this area is good because it's a retina address, pretty good pricing, but you're still getting Issaquah Schools. So if you were someone who was coming from Texas and you're checking out this mm -hmm. whole area mm -hmm. and Issaquah and Renton are your ones you're honing in on, sure. what's gonna make your decision for you? What, what's yeah. most important? Well, again, I think it comes down to um, who is moving, but if we're talking about a family, then I'm, I'm leaning towards the schools at school districts first. Yep. Um, you know, it's also going to be a big, a big conversation. It's just going to be those price points. I mean, it's a yeah. fairly large difference. If I'm going first time home buyer, you know, downtown Renton or the outskirts or outskirts of Renton might be my only option for a five hundred, six hundred thousand dollar home. Yeah. Um, true. Whereas if I'm going into Issaquah, th those condo. might not exist. It's going to be a condo or a townhome, not even a townhome. But yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm leaning on on the on the school districts a little bit more for me individually, personally. Yep. Yeah. That's 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 pretty much it. I mean, that those are yeah. the two things. I mean, they're both going to have a lot of what you need as far as like shopping and entertainment goes. Yep. Locations are similar, so it's definitely coming down to pricing and school. So for you, the person moving, it's gonna come down to what's most important to you. Um, is getting the best school district or the better of the two the most important? If so, what, can you give up a little bit more on the house? Cause you're gonna to have to spend more for mm -hmm. the same house. Um, so kind of maybe downsizing the lifestyle to be in Issaquah or get a better house as far as the house is concerned, but be in the Renton school district. Yep. I will say, I don't think Renton's a bad school district at all. Mm -hmm. um, so it, yeah, it's gonna come down to price and you know taking a tour and looking at what you got. There. Checking it out. Hopefully it helps. That's right, gotta, walk, on, gotta walk around. Yep. If this is your first video you've ever seen in the channel, then definitely check out the playlist. Where you been? Right? <laughs>
check out the playlist. We have them all uh, based on the city. So our comparison videos, our pros and cons, map tours, we get out there vlog tour style too. Um, so check those out in the playlist. And if you're thinking about making the move, like I said in the beginning, contact info is below. So we'd love to help you kind of um, decide, you know, which area is best and help guide you based on what's important to you and help you out.